This has got to be the best way to utilize two different computers in one area with the same monitor, same keyboard, and same mouse. And it's all due to this one little box called the KVM switch. By the way, this is not a sponsored video as I purchased this product myself. So the review is all my own thoughts and there was no input at any time to influence my review. So I've been working in my home office for quite some time now, say about three years. And I've been working a bit differently than I have recently because I have these two great big monitors, but I was using one for each computer that I had. So I would have to get up from one desk working on one computer and if I had had to go over to do something else on another computer, I'd have to go to the other desk to work on, let's say, a video project or a, a personal email. And if I got a work email, then I'd have to go back to the other desk, uh, get out of the seat, go over to the other desk and send or receive or do work or whatever related to that. Then I was just recently introduced to what was called a KVM switch, which stands for keyboard, video, mouse. And I was hooked and I needed to get one. Hence why this is not a sponsored video because I wasn't waiting around for someone to sponsor me. I went out and bought one, but it took me a while. I'll explain. So what is it? Well, the product that I'm showing you up here somewhere, I'm showing you a picture somewhere. We'll do that in the editing part, right? Exactly. Yeah. The product that I'm showing you is the Steetech USB 3.0 KVM dual monitor, HDMI two port switch, and a bunch of other words after that as we all know from the Amazon title. And I'll have the link down below if you wanna check it out. And also, by the way, it's not affiliated, so I won't actually make any money. So go down, have fun, check it out. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about the switch itself. It's 130 millimeters by 74 millimeters by 25 millimeters. It weighs about 1.9 pounds. Went from metric to, MP yeah, anyway. Uh, it's solid, it's made out of metal, hence it's solid. It is 4K at 60 Hertz video output, which is nice. Uh, it supports dual monitors. Of course, that's the reason why I bought it, because I wanted two monitors to work together. It has both USB 3.0 and 2.0 connections, but the main connections to the computer are 3.0. It has HDMI connections for all the video inputs and output connections. And in the box, besides like the instructions and warranty and a few other items, the main components in there obviously is a KVM switch, the four HDMI cables, two USB cables, I'm sorry, two USB 3.0 cables, and they're black, not blue as they're shown here. The ones I got were black and a micro USB cable for the power connection to the box itself. It also has some rubber feet that you could attach to the bottom if you need, which I do because I have metal on metal. So I want those rubber feet to keep it from moving. I'm gonna tell you this, I can vouch that you could connect a Windows laptop and a MacBook Pro to this device and it works flawlessly. Reason why I know is because I have a MacBook Pro and a Windows, Samsung Windows computer. Just for clarity purposes, there are two additional types of these KVM switches with a total of three that you need to be cognizant of. I'll explain later. Related to the USB type. There is a USB type 1.1, 2.0, and a 3.0. I have the 3.0 version. Especially true also when you go look at the reviews, I would say 95% of the reviews are related to the USB 1.1 or the 2.0. And what's also interesting is in those reviews, they're also recent, like 2022-ish. Who uses a USB 1.1 and 2.0? So how much is it? Well, at the time of this recording, I know it sounds like a broken record, every time at the time of this recording, yes, it was $131.99 which is currently a savings of like 31% as it was originally priced at $189.99. So who's it for? And in this case, I'm gonna be a bit more specific than the other videos I do because I usually say, hey, they're for everybody or whatever, and you know, your imagination, blah, blah, blah. But in this case, this is for those that have two different computers, basically, and need to keep them separated and use one for a certain set of jobs or tasks, and the other computer is used for something different altogether. Okay, so enough about the cryptic talk. The best way for me to explain it is maybe one's for work and the other's for play, as you can do things on one that you can't do on the other. If you know what I mean, do I have to explain it literally? All right, so let's talk about the good. Convenience, I, just flat out, it's convenient. It's really convenient. With just a push of a button, you're on the other computer. You don't need to constantly switch wires to make different connections or move from one desk to another push a button. It does reduce cable clutter because you only have one less set of mouses, keyboards, and monitors, of course, on your desk. Mice, I know. It's small and discreet, and it can be kept under your computer or between your computers. What I mean is, is if you have a shelf and your computer's on it, it can be held up underneath the shelf because it's quite small. To be more specifically like for me, I no longer need the two desks and I no longer need the two separate computer setups. This is why I think it's also a good point. Now, this is not just for two computers. It'll work great for gamers that have a console and they want to switch between their computer and a console. Now, of course, there's the good. What's not so good about it? So other versions of these have a remote. And when I say other versions, 
versions, I mean like other companies uh, that have KVM switches, they have either a completely wireless remote or a wired cable remote with a button that you can take the box and hide it completely and just use the button or the remote itself. In my case, I have to keep it within hand's reach so that I can actually push the button. Another small concern maybe is, and again, it's not so much for me, but just telling you what's out there, is there's a small delay when you're switching from one computer to the other uh, in the monitors populating the, the current screen. Now this one's a little bit odd and it's based on basically maybe my quality experience that the switch button feels to me like it'll give out before the internal components will. And again, that's logically speaking, right? Because it's a physical push button as opposed to the internal components don't move or function. But I'm saying is, is that button feels less robust than other switches that I've used. But I'm gonna tell you, it's new, so time will tell, it might last. It does not support hot key switching, meaning you can't use your keyboards to hit a certain functions to get it to switch monitors or switch computers. The only way that that works is you have to push the button. Now, I would have liked to have had a USB Type-C connection on this device instead of the, the 3.0 or even the 2.0 and the 1.1. All right, so let's talk about my thoughts on this. This category of products is a tricky one. Uh, I've seen so many options out there that at one point, even I didn't know which one I should get. Uh, I find myself a little tech savvy, but I still had to do a lot of research. There are ones out there with DisplayPort connections. Uh, some are out there with DisplayPort connections and HDMI connections for the internal and external. Uh, there were so many, and I mean many, that were USB 2.0 and even USB 1.1 but not so many that were USB 3.0 or even USB-C. And because of this, I think that many people will be pretty much confused on which one they should get if they don't study and understand the differences a bit more like I did. And I believe me, I had to study. Now here's something a little bit that I was thinking about. The, the strange aspect uh, in these products seemed to me that they're behind in the times as I saw that there were hardly any with USB Type-C connections and very few with USB 3.0. So what I'm worried about is that either the industry, and I mean the KVM switch industry that is, is slowing down because people are not into using their two PCs or their two laptops simultaneously or, or together, or I'm just completely off my basis and it's just, and I'm just flat out wrong. I don't know, I could be. But with this, I'm not sure if this is something that people will be purchasing moving forward, but on the chance that people are still quite interested in this, here are my thoughts on this. And to get a little more, more about me, I'm gonna tell you what I liked about it or what I found that it was important on my thoughts. I have a need for this and I need to use one of my computers for work and one of my other computers for home use and video editing. I have two desks, I have two monitors, and at the time I thought it was a good idea to have both of them sitting together side by side on two separate desks and all I had to do was get up from one computer when I was doing work and switch over to seats to another desk to use the other computer. Now I'm at a point where I find having two desks in a spare bedroom office space like this as being wasteful and all I really need is one single desk that can hold all my items and all I have to do is switch from one computer to the next without having to move or change cables. This is perfect for what I need now and I appreciate the function and now it will save me space as I'll just get rid of the two smaller desks and get me one decent sized single desk. I may have made mention before, but you know, I switched industries. And when I switched industries, right at the time of COVID, I switched from having to be at a work facility to being able to work from home. And since the majority of my time now has been working from home due to obviously we know the pandemic, uh, I have disliked my previous setup of having the two different desks, the computers and the side by side and having to get up and move from one desk to the other. I realized quickly that I had a good setup, but what I wanted was a great setup. And with the Steetech dual monitor KVM switch, I now have a really great setup. I think the way to go now is for me to make the best setup is to take my two computers that are at the middle there, probably close them up and obviously set them up so they function while their covers are closed and just move them off to the side and bring my two large monitors together so that I have one big giant monitor uh, that's sitting on my desk. I think that would be the best setup overall. But again, not so much talking about me. This is about you and what you're looking for. So if you're looking for that perfect setup where you have two monitors and you need decent video quality, Quality, and you want to be able to easily switch between the two computers while using just one keyboard, one mouse, and one set of monitors, this is the device for you. This is a bit more expensive than what the average person may be used to, uh, you know, perusing on Amazon or whatnot. But again, if you're working with the two computers and you need to switch between them, this might be the best device for you to get. And that price might not be too bad. So this is it. We've reached the end. I do appreciate your time. Uh, I, I appreciate that you've made it this far. So thank you. Have a great day. Peace.